Greetings and welcome to another episode of the Success Breed Success Show with me, John Molyneux, the Sales Samurai. This is just going to be a short solo episode. I'm going to start doing these more often now uh, called the Sales Samurai Sessions. Today's topic is going to be don't give up. Uh, the reason I wanted to start doing these as well is because uh, I'm really enjoying where the, the show is going at the moment. I've had some fantastic guests so far. I hope you uh, are enjoying the content as well. But I also wanted to do certain bits of just me talking to get, so you, you get to know me a little bit better, uh, a bit more about what I'm doing and uh, what my background is and stuff like that. So I particularly wanted to talk about this topic today about not giving up especially it seems as how we are sort of really having some issues everywhere in the world right now. We've just got through a pandemic or we're kind of getting over that. And then you've got all this sort of uh, uproar and, and people falling out and all sorts of like vandalism and, and rioting and uh, protests. And there's all sorts of uproar and, and crazy stuff going on. So what I'm trying to do with the show and these little episodes is just put a little bit of positivity out there with all this negative stuff happening. So really, I just wanted to sort of, especially with a lot of people might have lost their jobs and stuff like that and feeling a bit down or negative about, about certain things that are happening. I appreciate it is difficult because lots of people have kind of uh, come out of work or maybe lost their jobs and, and a lot of companies are downsizing because of the economy, economy and stuff like that. And I get that. But there's always something you can do. I mean, teach yourself to learn that something new at home maybe study sales or whatever you're into, marketing or coaching, just, just try something new. There's, all, there's something really sort of good and motivating about just learning something new and really putting your efforts into something, especially if it's something that you're interested in. I would also recommend that you maybe try uh, meditating or, or new hobbies, going out for walks. Uh, I always set goals as well. Goal setting is a really good way to get motivated and sort of start your day well. I mean, I tend to do little sort of daily goals, but you can also do like weekly goals, monthly goals, even yearly and five yearly goals and things like that. So that's another thing that I would recommend doing. But yeah, just don't sort of give up on yourself or all your life or your friends. Don't give up on family. Just don't give up on anything. You really do need to sort of have faith in yourself and that things is going to work out okay in the end. I just wanted to tell you a little story myself about not giving up. Years ago, I was trained to be a martial artist, so a karate instructor at the time. And part of that was uh, I had to go out and sell. That, that's how I kind of started the sales, was knock, uh, door knocking, so door to door knocking to sign people up to become students. Now, I really enjoyed the karate training. I just love martial arts. I'm still a martial artist now, but it's more of a hobby. I don't try and do it. This was trying to do it full time for a career. So it was the, my only income. I mean, my partner was working, but it was my only source of income and it wasn't making a lot of money at all. I mean, I was doing quite well at signing people up, but you only got sort of 20 pounds per person. So the money was very poor, really. So it was really difficult financially more than anything. I mean, the, the, the physical training was tough, but it was more the financial that was, that was really sort of hitting us hard. So there was many times when I was, this isn't working out. I, we, we used to struggle even running the car and stuff because it was, it just, I, I, I just about managed to fill the car up and, and get around to these classes and stuff like that. Even when I started to teach full time, I still wasn't making enough money to get by really. So in, in the end, I did actually get to Black Belt and that's when I decided, look, I'm going to have to give this a, call this a day because I can't make this work for a career. But there was many times when I was like a purple belt and even a brown belt. And I was like, oh, I can't do this anymore. We just can't make this work. But I thought, no, I'm going to keep going. And I'm really glad that I did, because if I'd have thrown in the towel in and quit at purple brown belt, I would have never had the satisfaction and the, and the pride of, of achieving that black belt. So even though it was a financial struggle and, and real heartache, the fact that I graded and I got that black belt was such a, a, a big, uh, satisfying achievement and, and personal sort of, uh, yeah, a, a real big eye opener and, 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 and so such a massive accomplishment for myself. I was so happy that I persevered. So I'm not saying that, that it's going to be the same for everybody, but a lot of people might be out there now listening and they're, they're thinking about giving up on something that they really want to do or something similar to what I've just explained. Sometimes you just need to persevere and, and, and 
go with your gut or your heart, follow your heart. And that's today's message. Like I said, these episodes are only meant to be little short ones to just sort of get little messages out there. I will be doing them quite regularly now. If you are enjoying the show, guys, please go and give me a rating on Apple if you do listen on Apple. I'm also going to be giving a free sales uh, course. I'm going to be uploading it to my YouTube channel very shortly, so the Sales Samurai YouTube channel. It's, it's basically, it's a really basic sales course, so it's going to appeal to people that haven't done any sales before or they're just getting into it. It's going to give you some real sort of insights to rapport building and uh, prospecting and uh, all sorts. I'm going to, I look at the psychology of selling everything. So it'll even appeal to people that are kind of seasoned sales, sales individuals or sales specialists as well. So it's kind of, uh, it's kind of aimed at everybody, but yeah, that will be coming soon guys. So watch this space. I'll keep you, keep you up to date with that. Also my sales samurai channel, I'm going to be doing more material with that. So I'm going to be doing more demonstrations. Uh, I've started doing a few nunchucks and stuff like that, but I'll also do strikes, kicks and things like that. I'm going to have sort of do partner work. So I'll have somebody do some bits and stuff with me, like locks and, and stuff like that and self-defense. So yeah, I'm going to cover lots of stuff like that, but I'm also going to be just talking about sales as well. So the Sales Samurai channel is aimed at doing martial arts, but having sales tips and uh, guidance in, in it as well. So it's the yin-yang, so it's going to be both. So stay tuned, guys. I hope you're enjoying the show so far. I really appreciate you all. Speak soon. <laughs>